In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the normal line. We're going to give a definition of the normal line, talk about um, the slope and how you find the equation, and then work out one real simple example of this. Um, the normal line is defined as a line that is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. Okay, so you've got your your tangent line and then your normal line is going to be perpendicular right there at that point of tangency. Because of the, the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals to one another, the slope of the normal line to the graph of f of x is negative 1 over f prime of x. Alright, so if our original graph is x, f of x, then I know that the derivative is f prime of x. Alright, and since we know that the slope of the tangent line is the derivative, then we can just go ahead and flip that, make that negative reciprocals, and make it negative 1 over f prime of x. All right, now let's take a real quick look at a picture here so we can maybe just visualize what this is saying a little bit better. All right, let's say I've got the regular graph of y equals x squared right here. All right, and then maybe say at the point 1, 1, here is my tangent line. Okay, so we draw the tangent line right there. My normal line is going to go through that point of tangency right there and it will form a right angle or be perpendicular to the tangent line. So the tangent line and the normal line are perpendicular to one another. So you can real easily, if you know um, the equation of that tangent line, you know the slope of that tangent line and a point on the line, then you can write the equation of the normal line very easily. Okay, so that's the example that we're going to be taking a look at. Let's suppose it says find the equation of the normal line to the graph of f of x equals x squared plus 3 at the point 1, 4. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is find the derivative of that. So I'm going to do f prime of x, and that equals 2. Power rule there is going to be a nice little 2x. Alright, now I want it at the point 1, 4, so I'm going to plug 1 into my derivative. So that'd be 2 times 1 or Two. All right, now this is the slope of the tangent line. Okay, prerequisite skill that you've learned a long, long time ago. All right, now if I know the slope of the tangent line, then the slope of the normal line is just going to be the negative reciprocal of that. Okay, so I can draw the conclusion that therefore the slope of the normal line is a negative one half. And as long as I know the slope and a point on that line, then I can write the equation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the slope of this normal line and the point. I'm going to use those two things to write my equation. And since I've got the slope and a point, might as well use point slope form here. So y minus 4 equals a negative one half x minus 1. I almost put a plus 1 right in there. x minus 1. Alright, and just going ahead and leaving it in that form since it didn't really say what form it is here. Alright, but just one real quick example of how you can write that equation of the normal line if you're given the graph and a point on that line. So definitely thanks for watching and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.